And I saw that opportunity in a very short window and um, felt that it was best for me and my family uh, to pursue a new challenge. And so there's no one to blame. It's a standard part of the process whenever I hire a head coach at Notre Dame that I spend time with the leadership of the program, the student athletes, to get their input. These gatherings are not to solicit candidate names or evaluate candidates. It is instead to discuss the characteristics that we ought to have in a future head coach. After I introduced this topic to the team captains, they explained they had a different agenda. They were passionate, they were articulate, they were convincing, but what they insisted I understand was that they had built the best culture in college football. And their message, stated clearly, was Jack, don't screw this up. Your brand new head football coach. The reason why I'm standing here is because of you. It's unbelievable how powerful you guys are. And when you want something done, you get it done. Okay, all we can do now is start focusing on what we'll do as we move forward to make sure that we're successful the next time we're on the field. So with that, I'll open up for questions. And this is when it happens, guys. This is when you come together, when nobody's watching, when nobody sees the effort that you're putting in. When you decide to do it here, that's when it show up on the scoreboard. This is an absolute joke. Notre Dame is going to get run in the first game of the season. They'll be fortunate to go nine and three. Laughable that they're in the top five. People can hear you. People can say negative things. People can die.